Where did the doctor come from? An interesting story. Not a lot is known about him, but this much is known. Back in the 1940s and very early 1950s, he was a big hit on the American carnival circuit. He would have a little tent on the, on the midway near the sideshows. In that tent, people could come in, they'd put their money down, and he would explain their dreams. He would tell them what their dreams meant and their nightmares. He was very popular. People came from miles around to hear what their dreams really meant. And then he transferred his talents to the early days of television. In the late 1950s, early 1960s, he had his own television show titled Dreamland. And on Dreamland, he would have guests come on the television and he would have them explain their nightmares. He would tell them what their nightmares meant. It was very, very popular. But on his own, aside from his television show, unknown to anyone for a while, he was doing experiments. Once these experiments were discovered, they ended his television show. No one quite knows why. But he fled. He fled the country. And he came to Sweden. He came to Stockholm, where he bought uh, this magnificent old mansion, up long abandoned on the edge of the Stockholm Harbor. And in that mansion, he began doing experiments. Dreadful, dreadful experiments. He told people that he would help them. He would help them cure their worst nightmares, when in fact, what he was doing was extracting their nightmares from their brains, bringing their nightmares to life, and keeping them within the walls of his mansion. <laughs> and those nightmares are still alive.